morning guys shalom shalom hope all is well hope all is well this morning um we want to pray we're going to be doing some prayers on recovering our keys for our destiny as children of god and even as families um a lot of our destiny has been exchanged has been stolen by the powers the rulers of darkness the, the principalities the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places so um, that's why a lot of us are going through like frustrations, going through oppressions. We don't even know why we're going through it. We're going through um, misfortune, misfortune in situations, disfavor, like a lack, poverty, reproach, because there's gates for everything. And gates for prosperity, gates of healing, gates of perfect health, gates for um, progress, gates for abundance, gates of um, favor. So these gates have been closed. And it's not, you know, releasing those blessings. So the Lord wants to release those blessings, but. It's a gate that's been closed by, you know, rulers of the um, gatekeepers, evil gatekeepers. But um, we have evil gatekeepers in our father's house and our mother's house. Those are the spiritual wicked people who are, you know, used by the devil to make sure no blessings come, come in and no prayers, you know, get through to the Lord. So you've seen something like that in the book of Daniel, um, chapter uh, 10, 13, where Daniel was fast for 100, 120 days, 100, 120, 20, sorry, 120 days, time to get up. Anyways, he had an evil angel fighting his prayers the whole time. He was fasting and praying. We know, we all know when we fast and pray, you know, that gets God's attention. So you can only imagine how he feels, and even though he was fasting, but he didn't answer because he didn't know about an evil gate, an evil angel, principality, prince of the air, the prince of Persia, was fighting him. So that we also have evil angels, evil gatekeepers, you know, spiritual gadgets being used against like astral pots. A lot of people don't even know what actual pot is. But, um, it's just like a pot they use in the physical, like a witch they use in the physical, but instead they use it in the um in that spiritual realm. And it's used to swallow your prayers, your blessings. So when someone that comes down, they use this pot and it swallows up your blessings. When the blessings are coming to you, they swallow your your messages, information. And of course they use this pot for divination. You can use the divine into your through the um, you know, the third eye to your privy information in the past, your present, and the future. And they use this information against you. And of course, they, they see how they can cut you off from whatever vision they get. They want to make sure, or they do all they can to make sure you do not meet, meet that point. So that's what they try to do to Jesus. And Herod, the king, um, King Herod, was pretty much trying to destroy um, Jesus. And he was going as far as killing two, the two year olds and under and trying to look, look for him because he specifically couldn't find him because the Lord hid him. So, you know, that spirit is still alive today through people. And that spirit works through family, family members, diabolical um, revelations, and even people who have some power, rules and darkness. Like, people that have, you know, authority. <clears throat> so, Matthew 16, 19 says, And I will give you give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. So, this is what the Lord is saying to us, to his children. And, and whatsoever that shall bind on earth, it should be bound in heaven. So, we got to use our authority. Um, and whatsoever that shall loose on earth, should be loose in heaven. Um, Luke 2, 7 Corinthians, um, chapter 2, verses um, 14, says, Behold, all it says, For the weapons of war can not carnal, but mighty through God, to put them down strongholds, and cast it down imaginations, and every time thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bring them to the captivity to the obedience of Christ. So that's you know, false imagination that the devil projects in your mind, false information that the devil trying to persuade you, like self condemnation and so forth. And, um, Luke 10, 19, it says, Behold, I give to you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be enemy to So, we got to exercise our authority that the Lord has given to us. As long as or not, we're going to be oppressed. The, you know, the witches, the witches, they're going to feel like they can oppress you, afflict you, kill kill people in your family, as long as you're not on um, warfare. Because these, these spirits are operating in the powers that are even existing in that bloodline. So, ancestral powers, foundational powers, ancient powers, powers that that were residing way before you and me were born. So I hang on so Um it means this power's been, you know, hey built way before you, our parents, 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 great 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 grandfathers. So these are like spirits and powers that, you know, are are occult to uncles, occult to aunties. Would use them. So, um, Revelation 1, 18 said, I am he that liveth and is dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of heaven and death. So, you know, when Jesus went outside, no devil, no power can, um, you know, close your gates. 
so all are open the ones and be closed. So Revelation right here, Revelation 3, 7 says, and, no, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right, <clears throat> these things said he that is holy. <clears throat> and that is true, he that had the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man also there go. The Lord is the God that opens gates, that no one can um, uh, close for you on a shooting, and no and says no one can shut it. No one can open the doors that he shut. So prayer is the key to unlock our destinies, to open and unlock the door. Um, we need the right keys to open the door. Without the keys, progress can never be guaranteed. Without the keys, opportunities will be wasted, and our helpers cannot access. So the Lord assigns destiny helpers in our life, those who will push you forward to you know, divine blessings, divine mandates in your life, where he wants to bless you. So you know, every one of us needs destiny helpers, and a lot of our destiny helpers are being actually shackled down as well. And being manipulated by witchcraft as well, but um, because you know we're dealing with people who use divination, so they they can get pretty inf slight information, not all, but they can get bits and pieces. So Satan doesn't know everything; he can get bits and pieces of information. So um, this person he's going to be with that person, he's going to get married to that person, um, he's going to be here at this time. So they can they know your life before you were born, <coughs> you, even before you come out the room. So it's like a card of information, wisdom they're using. So the key of Paul um, and Silas was praying. The Bible says in Acts 16, 25 to 27, as they were praying and singing and praises unto God at the middle of the night, there was a great earthquake as they added more force to their prayers. And the Bible says the foundation of the prison was shaken. And all of a sudden, all the doors were open and the captives were set free. So this let you know, even though they were in bondage, they still were thankful. They still were worshiping the Lord. They didn't complain, they didn't murmur. They just say, you know, they open up and curse God. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you allowing this to happen to me? Because I'm asking, uh, to be honest, there's things happening to God's children all over the world that they don't even know why it's happening to them. But, you know, don't allow that, you know, what the devil wants you to do, us to turn around and curse him. He tried to do that with Job. You know, to, you know why Why did my mother die when I was 10 years old? Why did I get raped? Uh, then That makes him turn away from God. If God loves me. He wouldn't allow that to happen to him. So thanks, like, just know anything that happens like that, God is not doing it. It's the devil and his demons. So um, spiritual prison. A lot of us, our souls are in spiritual prison. We can't, and since we're in spiritual prison, we can't receive the blessing of the Lord. So we're going to be praying against that as well. But um, so, so you got, the question is, what is your key to recover your destiny? Is it prayers? Is it to sing praises and, and to worship God? Is it to evangelize? Is it to speak in other tongues? So if you can speak in tongues, if you can sing, do these put these to use so it's for the kingdom. And, you know, the Lord, of course, when you speak in tongues, you can really speak to the Holy Spirit. And no other no other creature then can understand it. So that's what the devil hates. The idea of these channels you have discovered to recover back your keys to progress. This is the time to develop them more. <coughs> Everyone came to this world with this different set of keys of destiny which can be used to progress and make a way in life. So like I said, um, after you do this prayer, we're going to be breaking out. And we're going to get, we're going to do this on behalf of our family members. Because our, actually, you know, you have ancestral forces that are doing this. So that means ancestral powers will be using someone, someone you know in your father's house, your mother's house, or outside of your bloodline. So this just means you're calling them ancestral strength. That just means a strong demon that is using you. That means a strong personality. It could be a hero, it could be a Hammond, it could be a Pharaoh, it could be a Jezebel, it could be a Sambel, or Tobiah, it could be a King Nebuchadnezzar. And, you know, it takes fast and prayer to destroy this thing because they're strong demons. And, you know, eating cookies and, you know, watching, you know, whatever you want and doing whatever you want. <clears throat> trying to walk at the system. You'll die. Let them make us trying to um, do that. So, make sure you dedicate to the Lord. Repent from your sins. Let go of all grudges to us and your people. Um, dedicate to the Lord and pray, build up a constant everyday prayer altar. Sacrificing to the Lord. So, you know, you don't want to ask the Lord, do this, do this. You know, give no, you have no t sacrifice, no tithes, no offerings. Because just because of that, we actually open the door for the devour to come into our life. Because we, a lot of us went to church, and we didn't we just pretty much, we didn't tithe. We had money in our pocket, but we didn't give, you know, tithes to the Lord. The Lord already said, um, he will, will rebuke the devour, you know, once he, you know, store meat, meat. So the, the money outside you meet for the storehouse. So when you get to the Lord, the Lord will be the divine. Of course, the devourer Satan himself. Because a lot of, a lot of us are found um blessings have been divine, uh, joy, our peace, 
our health, our finances have been defiled. And of course, he said, once you do that, he will pour out a blessing more than begin whole. So that means he will pour overflow of abundance. You know, regards to go to multiplication, enlargement, <coughs> increase, and overflow. So let's go to another scripture. The book of Psalm 24. And it talks about um, it's another one. It's another gate. It says, Oh, oh you be lifted up, you um, be everlasting doors. Hold on one second. And I'm going to find this. Okay. Revelation 24 says, Psalm said, Lift up your heads so and the gates have voices and ears. All your gates be lifted up, you be some doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? It says, The Lord is strong mighty. The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads on your gates. You will lift them up, you be there some doors. It says, And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. And also, the gates have ears and eyes, heads and brains. This fact is stress and for, you know, in the scripture we just read. So gates are not just physical passages through which men and materials are carried. They are also spiritual openness through which blessings are delivered or denied. So you have a good cake, you know, angelic and gatekeepers, and you also have evil. Of course, that's like the witches, the warlock sources, or principalities, or Satan himself. Or it could be good cake, it could be angels, it could be humans as well. You have gates, physical gates, and spiritual you have gates to your city, gates to jobs, gates to towns, gates to nations. You also have spiritual gates to cities and towns and nations. So that spiritual wickedness, people say nothing can come in except we let it. So you have evil gatekeepers that will you know, kill you. <clears throat> they will do all they can to destroy you for you not to receive a blessing. So in the scripture quoted above, the psalmist commanded gates to lift up their heads. This means that they have heads, and that also means that they can hear. Or how else will the command be heeded with their death? The psalmist also describes the king of glory to the gates, meaning that the gates can, can see. So the gates have eyes as well. If the gates cannot see, why describe who who the um sorry, who the would who would be entrances? Uh, sorry guys. The gates have brains to appreciate spiritual worth. So if you're worthy, the Lord will allow the gates to be lifted up. Says no one is the psalmist made it clear that they have to open because it is a king of glory that is involved a further extension of this expo um, exposition is the gates. <clears throat> also the gate the keepers who will open and close them as the um case may be. Also a gatekeeper may be good or bad, a going will open to any discerning individual without any hurdle. But the wicked gatekeepers are not like this. They deny people entrance into their blessings and keep. So these are like a call to powers, a call to men. That are, you know, you can say these people gatekeepers. They deny people, so they, you know, that's why a lot of children are gonna die because you know they're dealing with the court of powers that stems even down to their ten generations back. Did their ancestors, you know, they sacrificed to their, to their idols, to their gods. They share and um, you know, animal blood. So we're still dealing with those type of people who will rise up against you to you know pretty much take you out. So you know, you have demons that's using them. So it says. They deny people interest into their blessings and keep them permanently down. So this was going on in the family. That's why people are in perpetual poverty, perpetual suffering, perpetual premature death every year. So every blessing has a gate, and as gatekeeper, there's no way where the blessing can be accessed. If the gate is closed, gates are merged, procreation, prosperity, perfect health, favor, help, and the rest of the gatekeepers. It says you need to command the gatekeepers to open for you before you can access to them. Today, God will grant you such an access. In Jesus' name, wicked gatekeepers are physical and spiritual barriers. They must be overcome. And in Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 22, um, 27, it says, the Bible says, I will overturn, overturn, and overturn it until, until, um, and it shall be no more, until, until um, he who was right it is, I mean the blessing that I will give him. God will overturn every wicked gatekeepers for our sake. If he gives you a covenant rights in Jesus' name, what gate do you want to, God to open for you? As the Lord of hosts empower the wicked gate, the wicked gatekeepers and bring you in. <coughs> um, it says the Bible says you cannot enter a showman's house <coughs> until you first bind a showman. So also you cannot enter into a real blessing without overcoming the wicked gatekeepers standing at the gate. To the, to this to do this you need prayers, consistent prayers that will trounce the wicked janitor. You need the word of God. You need the Holy Spirit like never before. So. You're going to ask the Lord to baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And of course, if you're not saved, you're saved. Um, 
Believe, with, confess with your mouth, and believe your heart. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ, your Lord. I say you believe that he died on the cross, all your sins, that you have everlasting life, and that, you know, you perish in eternal hell. But also, get baptized. You know, once um, the Lord said, once you receive my spirit, you should receive power. Once you receive the Holy Spirit, you should receive power. The only way for us to, you know, empower the Holy Spirit is by dedication, not giving up to lustful things in life, eating whatever you want all day, every day. Of course, fasting and praying. That means sustaining and denying your flesh. That's what Jesus was doing 40 days, 40 nights. And he was in power here. All good. He was powerful to withstand Satan, the wilds of the devil. So one thing which we try to do, they would do spells on it to make you, make you eat or eat. This is one thing they do to their, um, well, their victims so they can overpower them, so they can get you know get power over them to afflict them and destroy them and so forth. Because the Holy Spirit is stronger than their power. So what they do, they do. They use their charms and spells. It's the only way. It's like little cheats that they do to try to, um, you know, they would call them whoredoms. You know, it says in 9134, it says, it says because of the multitude of the whoredoms, the way people hold them. That sell of nations through witchcraft, through whoredoms and families, through witchcraft. So people's lives, that's his souls, or sold by the whoredoms because there's so many. There's so many. It's like digging in a bag of um, treasures, you know, different. You know, you never know what they're using against you. That's why it's so diabolical. That's what the Lord told you not to eat from this tree of evil, the tree of good and um, evil. Because you're going to feel like God. So you're going to be like me. You're going to um, basically be, you know, you're, you're going to treat yourself as God. So that's what's going on in this world. These people think they're God. But that's why they have no, you know, they don't stop what they do. Because at, at that point, their conscience is gone. They sold their soul to the devil. But the, um, the demons are using them. So that's why Exodus 22, 18, the Lord says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So um, don't, that means don't, let, don't allow them to live. Kill them. Not with a knife. Not with your hands. But prayer, warfare. So it says, you need intense and deep praises unto the Lord. You need to have unflinching faith in God. That means unmovable. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you see. Jesus holds the keys of David. Revelation 3, 7. He has all the powers in heaven and on earth. His name is enough to overcome all evil gates of the devil. It is important that you remain faithful to him. For him to be able to do all for you. As you call upon him today, all the good doors that the enemy shut against you will be open. We even have another scripture where... <clears throat> I want to get there. Um, I might even find it. But also, this is scripture in the book of Psalm 107, I believe. How the Lord said, I will go before you. I will go before you. Start my showing you. I will go before you. Make all the crooked places straight. And it will break it, the gates and brass in pieces. And cut the iron bars of summer. So, you know, it's like a prison door. You got the prison bars. And you got the bar on top that slides down. So, this is how the dispersion. You just can't see what they're making out. And we need the Holy Spirit and God to break through it through prayer. Still, you know, the Lord can't be going to do anything without us doing it because the Holy Spirit is within us. So we must break through and break out. So our family will see deliverance, healing, um, and even, get, you know, restore our treasures of riches that inheritance that are stolen from us. So, um, but that being said, we are going to um, pray. I believe, Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you for the honor, honor, glory. Thank you for giving us something this morning. Yes, you for the as we do this prayer. May every gate your gate could be scattered and out of the way. May every spiritual gadgets, modern devices be broken to pieces. May every spiritual bar be broken. May, may, may every evil angel, evil cloud that is over our heavens be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, bless you. We are the honor of the world. We are God. Be that glorified for your worthy to be praised for every never more. We know that Holy Spirit. And power so that um, we see fresh power, fresh anointing to overpower any principality, any evil gatekeeper, any diabolical man or woman. Lord the mighty name Jesus Christ, because whether you, that's in us, and him that's in the world. Lord the mighty name Jesus, because it's written a few before us, who can be against us. So, Father, before we do, we repent for every known and unknown sins, anyone that have sinned towards you. We repent of our ancestors, forefathers, our parents, any we have transgressed against you. That are open the gates of access for you know Satan and his agents to pretty much have domain over us and put us in bondage, Lord. We did I guess you said that you wash us clean with the blood of Jesus, make us fit and holy in your sight, Lord God. Flush us, flush out every spirit of defilement, every spirit of contamination, every poison that's been injected into us, Lord. Yeah, injected into us. Lord the mighty Jesus. So we flush out of our body, out of our soul, out of our spirit, out of our organs, 
every spirit of contamination, any sickness that's been injected in the force. Let the mighty of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. So let's do this. And then we're going to do about 10 of these different prayers. Then we're going to go over to <coughs> pot. So this was going on. We're using you know, like an altar and you know, an altar, an altar and again, able pot. <coughs> and it's another one they're able to monitor what comes in and goes out, right? So we're going to read some scriptures on that as well. So let's do it. I decree and declare, my gate of glory, my gate of glory, it has been locked. My gate of glory under lock and keys. I command you to open by fire today. I command you to open by fire today in the name of Jesus. I command you to open by fire today in the name of Jesus. You can do this, you can do this as well as your bloodline as well. I would prefer you do that. So we decree, new gates of glory, close to my friend. I command you to open by fire in the name of Jesus. I command you to open my fire in the name of Jesus. I command you to open my fire in the name of Jesus. You gate of glory. You gates of any glory. Close my blood. I command you to open my fire in the name of Jesus. I command you to open my fire in the name of Jesus. I command you to open my fire in the name of Jesus. And Jesus came. And Jesus, you evil gates. You get you gates of any glory. Close my friend. We break you open in the name of Jesus. We break you open in the name of Jesus. We break you open, my friend. We break you open, my friend. We break you open, my friend. Through the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And so this means your family is no, the glory of God is not showing on our families or your family, you know, people's family, right? That means shame and reproaching. Uh, ridicule is, you know, old shadowing our family. So next, we're going to say, I will receive the keys to my breakthroughs and freedom. Through the mighty name of Jesus. I will receive the keys to my breakthroughs and freedom. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Decree of release to the keys of my breakthroughs and freedom. I decree of release. I decree of release to my keys to my breakthrough and freedom. Lord, the mighty of Jesus the Christ. So we decree. Joel 22, 28. So you there, there should decree a thing. You this should be established. Should we that decree of release to my keys to our breakthroughs and freedom and emancipation over my life and my bloodline. Lord, the mighty of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, pray. And then that's, you know what I'm saying? Now, some powers. Foundation, like I said, foundation powers means um the powers from your father's house, the powers from your mother's house. Whatever um that's running through the bloodline from ten generations back from my forefathers, and it says that's the powers that we're fighting. Because they have, of course, they're against Christ. They're against God's children. This is full of demons, deities, idols, graven images that are demons behind the work. Even though they're physically short, the false gods are still alive. So basically like the spirit from Babylon, Babylonian times, are still one fan against us. You know, um, like the fertility gods, um, the moon gods, the sun gods, the star gods, Malak, Chion, uh, Azeroth, Mazeroth, Arcturus, all these different star gods are actually, they're like principles, they're evil angels and demons. So, the Lord has said he's not giving you spirit of fear, but of um, love, boldness, and self mind. Because, you know, it's a, it's a scripture in the Bible that says, those who, you know, have fear, they don't have love in them. So, anyone who's walking in fear, they pretty much permeate hate out of your whole being. So make sure ask the Lord to give you the name of grace to walk in love, to walk in bonus, and not to walk in um fear. Alright, so let's do it. You stubborn powers to my father's house. Oh my mother's house. Holding the keys of our good one. I come in door. But listen in the name of Jesus. And die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Who the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 11, 3. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, someone in your father's house, your mother's house, it's a diabolical witch, warlock, sorcerer, cultist. They are their um, war phoenix of family. So, man's 1036 says a man's enemies of his own house. So, a man's enemies should be there of his own household. So, they will actually work with external forces and external agents to destroy their own bloodline. All right. So, we're the queen. You stubborn powers, my father's and mother's house, holding the keys while glory. For the God command you, but please in the name of Jesus and die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. For the mighty name of Jesus, stubborn powers, my father's house, mother's house, holding on to the keys of any glory. I command you, but please in the name of Jesus and die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, a lot of people feel as though they um 
You know they're not fit for this only plan, but they're not. Let's go. Let's quickly go to this book record. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And also, let's go to Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45, verse 1. And the Lord used um, Cyrus. So that's the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I am holding. The Lord will hold a hand to, um, I am holding to a subdue nation before him. That will loose the loins of kingdom and stand, loose the strength, break the power of kings, rulers of dons, to open before him the two leaves gates, and the gates shall not be shut. So two leaves. So he had leave to me, like leaves. The gates have leaves on them. The two leaved gates, that the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. Not over breaking pieces, the gates of brass they go and cut up and cut asunder the bars of iron, saying, I will give thee the treasure. So, this is what was going on. I treasure, I had and riches, and blessings, and finances are in hidden places in the dark, in the place of darkness. I mean, where the workers of iniquity are by it's the spiritual and physical places. So, it says, I will give thee the treasure of darkness and hidden riches and secret places that they may know that I. The Lord which called thee by my name and I am a jealous God of Israel. So a lot of people don't know that the moon, they can use the moon to harbor your blessings. To swallow your blessings when you pray and your blessings go down. They can use the moon to swallow it. So you actually can speak to the moon, the earth, the waters, the second half of these, where all it's just different places. They use pots, all type of organs, the grave, trees, darkness. So now let's go to the book of Jeremiah 1. So this is this right here. This, and this is about how the Lord wanted to use Jeremiah to, you know, do what we're doing. He wanted to use him as a problem. He, he was afraid. He said, you know, I knew you before you even, you know, formed in the womb. Um, I don't want to sanctify thee and I ordained thee a prophet to the nations. Then said our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I'm a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not I am a child, for thou shalt go and do all that I shall send thee. And, or, and um, thou shalt go. What's all the command thee? And that's what speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I'm with thee to the Lord. So the Lord's like, don't be afraid, because actually these people actually start popping up. When you start warfare against this, you know, these kind of people start actually like popping up in the physical. You know what I'm saying? And just to prepare you. That's how Satan is, you know, just able to destroy you once he instill fear in you. Because they won't stop. And they're against you even if you don't pray against them. Literally. So I said, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said, said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in my mouth. See, I have said this day over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down the build of plant. So there you go. You must destroy these kingdoms that are, these powers that are operating in our Father's house, Father's house, because they're, they're working with the external forces and enemies of the, of the world, the wicked of the wicked. So Jeremiah 13, this is what we're warfaring right here. It says, first it said, what's he, it says, of the Lord, of the world of the Lord said the second time, What's these down? I said, I see a seething pot. It's a spiritual witchcraft pot. I call it the pot marine pot ancient. Whatever dimension it is, it's a pot that the user says, let the face down toward the north. Then the Lord said to me, I will the north and evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For Lord, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, said the Lord, that they shall come and they shall set everyone in strong at the entering of the gates. Jerusalem, let against all the walls of runabout, let against all the cities of Judah, they go. That I will utter my judgments. So this, this, this is what the Lord said he will do against the wicked the person. Because you know, they're not having the Holy Spirit. So I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, while forsaking them with their burnt incense unto other gods. So, they, they, so they're burning, they're, they're making sacrifices to other gods, and they're getting power from it. They're getting riches, fame, long life. They, they're able to exchange your destiny and things like that. So they, um, and they worship their works of their own hands. Therefore, the good of their loins and arise and speak unto them. All that I command thee, be not dismayed at thy face, unless I confirm thee before thee. For behold, I have made thee this day. This is what the Lord wants us to get. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, and an iron pillar, and a brass and walls, and against the whole land, but against the kings of Judah, and against the princes that are, but against the priests that are, but against the people of the land. That they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. So he's saying they'll fight against you. They're trying to do all they can to destroy you. Physical and spiritual, by spiritual equations, spiritual sequences. But that means they can't touch you unless they program it, unless they make an evil plan. So that's how witches and witches, you know, operate. They don't just go, out, I'm going to go out and I'm going to stab this person. No, they do it by um, evil decisions. They got to program it first. They don't operate like gangbangers. So Psalm 105, 15 says, Touch not my don't to do my power in the room. So long as you're prayerful, 
Put this on your faith in the Lord. They can't do nothing to you. And this is what he did on behalf of Paul and Silas. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch them anointing, do me promise no harm. So he said, They shall fight against the but they shall not prevail against the for I am what they said the Lord to deliver thee. So you got a covenant. You know, all, God should have a, you know, um, his name is on the forehead. It's spirit, you can't see it. But it's, you know, there. that means they can't touch you, like they can touch other people. It means they can't, you know, hurt people. They, the, the demons can't hurt you like they can hurt so what, they do different means to try to get you of course by fear of course to get you to sin of course to get you to become atheist of course to um, do different spells to diminish your um, your energy field so they can get to you that means the Holy Spirit they can diminish by using black magic and so forth to put dark energy around you and that will attract demons and death and so forth to be able to get to you and to afflict you um, so let's continue I'm going to say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to give them all the manos promotions, all the mighty Jesus. By fire, I'm going to give them all the manos promotions, all the mighty Jesus. So just, you know, you're going to the motion at workplace, but someone else is going to the promotion, they don't need to have what you do. So by fire, I'm going to give them all the manos keys of promotion, all the mighty Jesus. You gates of promotion, close my family. I break you open by fire. I break you open my fire. I break you open my fire. I break you open my fire. And I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. You gates of promotion. Close and make my blood up. I command you to be broken open by fire. 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 And I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. I'm gonna give the keys by thunder. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray that. Next. Every power of personality, principality, standing at the gate of my, of my finished deliverance. I paralyze you by the blood of Jesus. And I scatter you with fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. You, every power, personality, principality, you wishes, warlocks, evil friendly guardians, standing at the gates of my finished deliverance. Uh, we curse you in the name of Jesus. We paralyze you in the name of Jesus. Now scatter and die by the blood Scatter and die by the door. Scatter and die by the door. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. Every powers, personalities, principalities, evil gatekeepers, evil friendly guardians. So I stand in the gate after the deliverance. I curse in the name of Jesus. We paralyze you by the blood and scatter and die by the door. We scatter and die by the door. We scatter and die by the door. We scatter and die by the door. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus Christ. Amen. Next. Then we say, I'm going to receive the keys to my open womb. Oh, the mighty that's conception. That means you'll be able to conceive and break through. You can see what the Lord has, you know, put inside you. But it's like being held up by frustration, that lay stagnancy for the Lord to, you know, manifest whatever the Lord is placing you to be great, whatever it may be. So I'm about to see the keys to, to open my womb. And then much he's, and even that, your womb as well, physical womb is all out. So that's, that means that women in the in the family going through barrenness, that means the devil is closed up their womb. So that means, you know, they they, they do the fornication with their husband, but the child dies in their stomach, or they can't even have a baby, period. It's closed up, so it's a curse. So we must say, I must see that the keys from over womb. In the name of Jesus, I will see the keys to to my open womb. In the name of Jesus, I will see the keys to my conception. In the name of Jesus, I will see and decree or release of the keys to my womb. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus, Amen. So one thing you don't know, which is and which is the Lord closed their womb. The Lord allows their womb. So that's what you know. A lot of witches they can't have children. And, and this this is a fact because I know a witch that I. I didn't take serious that situation. I, I, I was uh, being, uh, how, how was the word? I was being gullible and foolish to, you know, basically um, associate with this person. And they were talking about how that bear, that, 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 that woman was closed. She was saying, I got my womb closed. And to be honest, she didn't get it closed. It pretty much was closed by the Lord. I got closed it up because she was being a witch. So uh, don't allow a person that's not of Christ to me and say, uh, I closed my womb because I wanted to, you know. Um, the Lord closed it up because what they're doing is diabolical. So, say, I'm going to see the keys of my academic success. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. I'm going to see the keys of my academic success. Oh, the mighty one, Jesus. You gates of academic success close my friendly eye. I'll break you over my fire. 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 
Look at the mic, Trinity. You gates of academic success. Close them out. I'm breaking open my crown. 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 Look at the mic, Trinity. Look at the mic, Trinity. In Jesus, amen. Now, marital glory. That means no one gets married. No one's going through singleness. Or people are going through divorce. So you got the gates of divorce open. The gates of singleness. The gates of um, joblessness. The gates of oppression. The gates of sickness. The gates of premature death. The gates of hell itself to be open over your family line. So you be going through all type of demonic wickedness. You guys are going to be, um, you say, you gates of academic failure. Open to me, my blunt arm. We close you, my friend, today, my Jesus. We close you, my friend, today, my Jesus. We close you, my friend, today, my Jesus. You gates of academic um, you gates of failure. Gates of academic failure. Close, um, open to my friend, and I. I'll close you, my friend. 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 Let me remind you, my Jesus Christ. We close you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. Next. You gates. A marital good order, marital blessing, marital breakthrough, close my family line, over my family, or in our heavenlies. We break you over my friend. 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 Let the mighty my Jesus. Let the mighty my Jesus. Hey, you gate some marital good order, close my family. I break you over my friend. I break you over my friend. I break you over Holy Ghost friend. I break you over my Holy Ghost friend. I break you over my Holy Ghost friend. I don't mind some Jesus. And Jesus, pray. Amen. Alright. Now we're gonna say, Father, every <clears throat> you know what I'm For the every gates of marital frustration. Open to my friend. To my blood line. We close up by front of them, Jesus. Close up by front of them, Jesus. Close by front of them, Jesus. Close by front of them, Jesus. Hey. You gates of marital frustration. Gates of marital delay. You know I mean? That means, you know, the devil keep programming for you to wait and wait. You think the blessing about to come, just get pushed back more. You gates of marital delay. You gates of marital frustration. Open to my friend and I, my blood. Iron. We close you, my friend. We close my friend. We close my friend. We close my friend. Lord, remind you, my Jesus. We close my friend. Lord, remind you, my Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Next. For that, we decree every gates of misfortune. Um, this favor that is open to my life, my blood now, the famine, loss, and stagnation. I shut you down by the finger of God. That is my Jesus. Every gate of misfortune, this favor that is open to my life, my blood now, the famine, loss, and stagnation. We shut you down by the finger of God. That is my Jesus. We shut you down by the finger of God. We shut you down by the finger of God. We shut you down by the finger of God. Oh, the mighty my Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's why I says my people are, um, are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So whatever I don't know. Whatever God shows you don't know, that's what's being used against us um, to oppress, suppress, kill, stand and destroy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, power! Let us play a lot. Me and my friend, our destiny, our glory, our virtue, our star, our soul. By fire, by thunder, we break the open minds to the name of Jesus and scatter those spirits in the name of Jesus. I mean, power! Let us play a lot. Me, my blood, our destiny, our glory, our virtue, our star, our destiny, our soul. We, by fire, by thunder, we break that power by thunder. We break it to pieces. 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 And scatter the spirits by fire. We scatter the spirits by fire. We scatter the spirits by fire. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Ouch. And Jesus. Now we're going to say this. Um, it's a you gate to affliction. You gate to affliction and suffering. Open to me, my friend. We close you, my friend, today, my Jesus. We close you, my friend, today, my Jesus. We told you, my friend, today, my Jesus. We told you, my friend, today, my Jesus. You gave to affliction and suffering. Over there, open to my friend and I. We told you, my dinner. We told you, my dinner. We told you, my dinner. Let the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next. You gave to failure. That, uh, that me and my friend have suffered in the past. I command you to get yourself together now. And I pray and shut you down in the dark gate. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, you gave some fail that I, my blood, I have suffered in the past. I command you, get yourself to get in them. And I burn shut you down at the down gate of 2022. We burn shut you down at the down gate of 2022. Let the mighty Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nice. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree. I'm going to say this again. We shut the gates of affliction fail over the meat of my bloodline. For the mighty name of Jesus. We shut the gates of affliction fail over the, open against me and bloodline. We shut it closed on tonight. We shut it closed on fire. We shut it closed. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me know. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So this just means people are doing all in the part of, you know, to be successful, to be prosperous. And this is like a spiritual force. A visible enemy it's pushing them, resisting them, just having them just stay stuck in life or go in circles, go through disappointment, rising and falling, promise to fail. Through the clinic, every gates are promise to fail, rising and falling, over to my life and blood now. We cloud you by fire, we cloud you by fire, we cloud you by fire in the name of Jesus. You gates are promise to fail, near success syndrome, um, rising and falling, open to my blood now. We shut you down by fire, we shut you down by fire. We shut it down by fire. We shut it down by fire. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. We shut them down by fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Next. Oh, God, arise and recover the keys to my daughter. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, arise and recover the keys to my daughter. In the name of Jesus. My father and father. Oh, God, arise and recover the keys of my joy. Recover the keys of my daughter. Recover the keys of my joy. Recover the keys of my daughter. It reminds me of Jesus to Christ. So no one's people going through chronic depression, chronic sadness, chronic oppression, suppression, whatever it may be, frustration, disappointment. So we decree every gates, every gates, every evil gates of um, disappointment, um, frustration that is open to me and my bloodline. We shut to them by front of them, my Jesus. We shut to them by front of them, my Jesus. We shut to them by front of them, my Jesus. We shut to them by front of them, my Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next. Now we're going to say this. Oh, finger of the living God, arise and fight a battle to my storm, my blood, to my family, the keys of our death to our hands. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, arise and fight and contend against souls that contend against us and restore our keys of our death to our hands. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. So it says that in Psalm 35, um, verses 3, the Lord, um, 2. It will say, contend against souls that contend against us. So, oh God, arise and contend against souls that contend against my blood arm. And we stir, oh Lord, unto us the keys to our destiny and to all that you have bestowed upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Now we're going to say, um, we're going to say, in the name of Jesus, we say, ah, I will receive the keys to hidden riches and secret places. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will receive the keys you hit the riches with a secret places under the mighty name of Jesus. We will see the keys. You hit the riches with secret places under the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to do this last prayer. We're going to cut this off. We're just going to do a second continuous of this. But we're going to flip over and just do a few prayers against this pot. It is actually being used against us as well. So the, the gates and the pots as well. And even on the top of that, our altar. And we're actually going to pray against the altar um, on another video. So we don't want to try to stuff all this in one. Um, video. So next, you gaze the friendly prosperity to abundance, um, overflow. Headed by household wickedness. Headed by the Lord. I break you to the free by crime. I break the locators by fire. Headed by Jesus. I break the fire locators today by fire. Headed by Jesus. You gaze my blood on prosperity, generation wealth, abundance, prosperity, overflow. Headed by household wickedness. We scatter them by fire. We scatter them by fire. We scatter them by fire and take her back by fire and take her back by fire and take her back by fire. Oh, the mighty name Jesus. Oh, the mighty name Jesus. You keys my, to, my, to my generation wealth, generation prosperity, genera generation abundance, generation overflow. Headed by household beginners, headed by household with crime, headed by household enemies. We hear the word of the Lord. We scatter by fire. We scatter by fire. We scatter by fire. We scatter by fire. Oh, the mighty name Jesus. Take a bad by fire. We take a bad by fire. We take a bad by fire. We were given a bad by fire. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, let's do this one more. I say, I be power in the king of Zion. You know, king of Zion was sit upon, sit upon a prophet on Isaiah. You know, until king of Zion died, Isaiah was pretty much, he couldn't even fulfill the purpose of the Lord. So a lot of us can't even walk into what the Lord has told us that he wants us to walk in because it's a spiritual wicked person. 
that is being opposed, that the devil is using to make sure we don't walk into the mandate of the Lord. So it's like they want us to live on earth in vain. They want us to be toiling around for years, for a long time, until we give up or something. And that's the last thing we want to do. So, um, I mean, pow! Oh, King of Zion. Let it from my father's house, mother's house, or from place of birth or home of the broad. Let it sit on a key of me and my family's liberation, liberty, and prosperity. Your time is up. For die, catch fire. Die, catch fire. Die, catch fire. Die, catch fire. I remind you of Jesus. You, King of Zion. You wicked personality. You wicked palm. Sit upon me and my family's keys of my liberation and prosperity. Bring your city by fire. And die, the name of Jesus. Bring your city by fire. Die the name of Jesus. Be seated, being seated by fire. And die the name of Jesus. Die the name of Jesus. Die the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And to be honest, we got about, we probably got about 20, 30 more different kind of prayers to pray against us. So, so um, all right. So, next. But then we're going to go over quickly to. This book. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel 8. What's something there? Like I said, this is a gate. It's a spiritual gate. You can't see it. It's like me sitting in this car. And the heavily spiritual wickedness going on. You can't see that. A witch. Or witch for you from my neighborhood. Or being used against me. Literally. What are you open this? Let me open this. I'm going to open this in hot. So, when you do this in my prayer, you actually start seeing spiritual people. You start seeing movements. People actually, the, the devil even try to, you know, get authorities on you, like authorities, um, people in power. To, uh, trust him. The, the devil can do all kind of things. He did this to Daniel. You know, he can he try to bring conspiracy against you, get you locked up, get you killed. So you definitely want to pray against all wickedness. So make sure you pray for protection. Pray to, to refreshing all devices of the enemy. Job 5, 12 says, For the Lord disappointed the device of the crafty. So the hand cannot um carry the enterprise. So, so read the book of Acts twenty three. It talks about how, um how they try to conspire against, you know, Paul to see to find him guilty for some reason for no reason because he was doing the will of the Father. And also read the book of Daniel. Same thing. They told him in the dinner lines. They try to find occasion to accuse him of something so he can die. But they still put him in the dinner lines because they made a law so you can't pray no God. So this was Antichrist spirit using and the devil just manipulating people. They had the spirit of jealousy and envy. So now let's go to the book of um, Jeremiah. We just read that Jeremiah said, Out of the north, our evil should break out. And this is by doing of a pot. So now let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11. Now let's do 8 first. Sorry. Wow. Let's do this out of the book. Okay. I lost my. I need my Bible. And I might not be able to read this. Nope. Now, if you read the book of Ecclesiastes 8, it talks about um how um the Lord told, you know, um, well, yeah, it talks about how the Lord lifted up um, Jeremiah. Put the Bible on me in here. Hold on a second. I'm going to actually buy a new Bible today because, okay. Yeah, it's like every new every day, I put a Bible out, a page up by mistake, so I can't read that page. So now let's go to the book of Let's go to Ecclesiastes um, eleven. Now it says, it says, um, hold on, sorry. This is not it. Oh, it is it. No. Yeah, I'm missing two pages. So I might just have to, you know, cut this one short and just come back and do the pot. But yeah, we're gonna just do a separate um video on pots. So yeah. So there you go. You got evil games that um that pretty much resist you to make sure you can't your family stays in oppression and affliction. So God bless you guys, I love y'all. Peace and blessings. We thank you Lord for um in our prayers, we're going to own our glory for the word to be praised for our blessing, our blessing. In Jesus' name, be the man for we declare and declare. Psalm 23, verse 7. 
Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me in the love of our family all the days of my life. Let every shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and evermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.